It is Friday and it is spring. It feels great outside. I think it looks like it feels great outside. Why is the sky like, oh my gosh, it's like dark gray. Clearly a gloomy day, but it still looks bright. I'm confused. Anyways, daylight savings is this Sunday, but by the time you see this video, that will have already happened. Anyways, I am going to a coffee shop to meet my brother, and then we're going to the gym. So this is a weird, I have like my gym clothes on, but then I have my cute little coffee shop tote. Love that for me. I feel like if I were to throw on a sweater, it'd make more sense. Okay, much more cozy vibes. Essentially today, I just want to do a bunch of things that fill up my cup and make me feel good. If you saw my last video, I did a bit of a spring reset. I was feeling weird. So today we're going to make myself feel motivated and excited and just do things that fill up my cup. So going to a coffee shop, meeting my brother there, love hanging out with family and I love coffee. So that's a win-win right there. And then going to the gym. I took an everything shower this morning just because I didn't shower yesterday and I felt disgusting. So now I'm going to the gym with wet hair. I don't want to hear about it. So let's go, have a great day. It is now time for the gym and apparently, according to Jordan, we're gonna be doing family squats. <sighs> it is leg day, so that works out perfect, but it's a lot. I don't know what it is. There's just something about going to a coffee shop and I was working the whole time on like business branding and Jordan actually made me a logo, so that was really fun. But there's just something about being at a coffee shop that reignites my whole life. It's the vibes, it's the actual coffee, it's the vibes. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It just is like, if you need a little pick-me-up, some rejuvenation, a coffee shop. I mean, everyone's there either socializing, working, reading, relaxing. I feel like it's just like the community vibe that you get in there, like knowing that everybody's there doing something. Love it. Love it. Family squad set. <laughs> Why did I go so hard? I only recorded a little bit of the workout, but I just kept going and kept going and kept going and my legs are now dead. Also this whole like going out with my hair wet, it's kind of making it look nice as it dries. There's zero product in it. Slay. All right, next on the agenda is lunch. Love lunch. I also, there's only like a little bit left of my Celsius from yesterday, so I will be finishing that, but it's not a full one. Eating my meal prep and making my husband a burger with cheese and an egg and bacon. Let's get to it. Something I've been doing recently is cooking a lot. Ever since we bought this house and got our remodel done, I've been cooking so much and I have like my staple meals I like to go to, but I'm just really proud of myself because when I was first an adult, like 18 years old, I had no idea how to feed myself. Like I would eat out so much because I just didn't even know where to start. And now I make my own burger patties from ground beef and I put it together myself. And I can pretty much just look in my fridge at like whatever I have available and come up with a meal. This is your sign. If you don't know how to cook, all you have to do is go on Pinterest, look up recipes, watch YouTubers make food, and before you know it, you'll just be coming up with recipes off of random ingredients. I just rewatched that clip and no one was gonna tell me. Like, I thought my hair was looking good. It looks disgusting. I might need to like recondition it in the shower after I shower. You know what I love? When I cook a very yummy, scrumptious meal, and then the dishwasher is just loaded right away. Adrian put his in, I put mine in, and then boom. There's no dishes in the sink. That's still cooling off. Love that. Obviously I already showered, but I'm all disgusting from the gym, so I'm just gonna do like a quick post-gym rinse off. And I'm seriously debating, like, what would you guys do? How does it look? Do I get it wet again? I don't think so. I just spent 20 minutes trying to pick out my outfit. This is the best I could come up with. It doesn't even look good. I hate all my clothes right now. I think I need a different color shirt. It is spring, so I feel like wearing more of like a spring color would hit. Um, oh well, I'm not going anywhere. Anyways, I don't know why I'm even getting ready because I'm not doing anything tonight. I'm not going anywhere. 
but it just makes me feel good about myself. I am gonna do my no makeup makeup routine, which is pretty much, I saw someone say this, like that's so true. A no makeup makeup routine is everything but mascara. So then it looks natural. And that's perfect for me because I hate mascara. It looks great on, but it always makes my eyes feel so heavy. Why is this lighting so egregious? Is that better or worse? Let's open the window. Ooh, okay, natural lighting. Um, anyway, so we just do a little bit of concealer, a little bit of eyeshadow, fill in my eyebrows. Then I take my liquid blush, 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 curl the eyelashes, and boom. That is my, oh my gosh, my mirror almost just fell. That is my no makeup makeup routine. But like imagine that in the summer when you've been laying out in the pool and then you just throw on a little bit of makeup. Oh, love that. Cannot wait for that. Now to deal with this monstrosity. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do in the summer because I wanna go to the pool like every day, which means I'll have to wash my hair like every day if I actually get it wet in the pool. When I was in high school, I just wouldn't brush my hair and it didn't bother me. I don't know how that didn't bother me because now it drives me crazy. But then it looks like this. If it's brushed, I don't know. Maybe if I add a little water, let it like re-wet, and then try to bring back some of the waves. I think I should just brush it as soon as I get in the shower, but I was in a rush this morning. No, this is terrifying. Anyways, on to my next thing for today. Wait, I forgot to add oil. I feel like oil helps it look a little less crazy. I don't know, I can work with this, I guess. It is two o'clock. I am going to call my friend and we're gonna chat about our Christian book that we've been reading. So kind of our little Christian book club. Ah, we're in the dark. I hate overhead lights, so I turn on all my lamps. So it's still kind of dark. I can open my blinds a little more. I usually keep them closed because my neighbors can just see right into my house. Me and my friend like to call on Discord, so get my computer set back up. Already. And oh, just wrapped up my call. I feel rejuvenated. I love friendships that, you know, are more like speaking life into you and making you feel abundant. That was the most Christian thing I've ever said, speaking life into you. Anyways. It was raining that whole call too, and I love a good cozy rainy day. It makes me feel lazy, but it's also like bright outside even though it's raining, so I still feel great and I was good for like the call vibes. Also, I just looked over and During that call, Jordan kept sending me updated pictures of like logos and stuff that we could do. And I'm really liking his design. I need to wrap up editing a video and then we're gonna do some more fun stuff. Fun to me at least. <laughs> Welcome to my thumbnail BTS. Oh my gosh. I changed into a spring dress because I'm doing my spring cleaning thumbnail. I was thinking planner, cute, maybe on my head, and then hold the broom and like. Oh gosh. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, Phoenix was in the shelf. I didn't even notice. Okay. I think it works. Videos up, posted, thumbnail, done, everything's good. And it is Friday, so we are gonna go over to my dad's, play some ping pong with my brother for a little bit, and then probably pick up Sonic on the way home. <gasps> Hi, buddy. Hello. Oh, you are wet from the rain. The Jordan, what is the deal it's with your water bottle? Hard, well, you see this is some hydrogen so infused weird. water. I don't think you see it going in. No, there's definitely some in places like- Oh, yeah. Water. But like, it's I mean, magic. Like carbs um, antioxidants, anti-aging, um, <clears throat> anti-hydration. There's a couple. Pro-hydration. <laughs> the other day it was goaded. Okay. <laughs> 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 the belly 
It's like the hardest hit of your life. <laughs> what are we at? Uh, 13, 14. Crazy English. No, dude! Jordan won! 23 21. Oh, you're recording that all the time? Yep. We are now headed to Sonic and then home, and Abram guessed correctly. I said, we'll just go for like an hour, play ping pong, hang out. We are just now leaving, and it's 9. What time do we get there? Like 6 30, maybe 7. I thought it was 9. What time was it? It was like 5 15. So we were there for like four hours. Oh my gosh, oops. I like that side move. I'm in bed for my favorite time of the night, which is reading time. So far today, we've gone to a coffee shop, we worked a little bit on some fun stuff, went to the gym, hung out with people that I love, got to FaceTime with a friend, got to play Super Smash, ping pong, and now I get to read the book that I'm reading right now. I really can't wait to hop into Air Fire, if you know you know but I need to finish Powerless first. One of the reasons I also wanna read this right now is because the Kindle is just like, I have this little Kindle stand and a remote and that would just hit right now, but I think I'll read my actual book. <laughs> everyone I've just been reading and hanging out this morning me and April are about to go on a little date but I just got a package in the mail I got my annotating stuff I've been wanting to annotate my book club book and I finally got to start and it looks so cool I don't really know what I'm doing I'm just kind of highlighting things that I want to remember quotes from the main characters and color coded the main characters I think it looks so cool now I want to annotate every book I've ever owned ever Phoenix how do you feel about me annotating I love when Phoenix just hangs out on this little ledge with me. since we got back from the restaurant and my book is so good i'm really enjoying it honestly i just love saturdays it always gives off the best vibes saturdays and sundays weekends just hit and i also am the type of person that likes to sit in the same room as someone even if you're not doing the same thing and it motivates me to do whatever i'm doing so my husband was just like laying in bed and watching videos about cats and like our breed of cats and i was just reading next to him and then he's like oh this reminds me of phoenix and then i watch with him it was just like so hard wholesome and cute and fun and I loved it. And I don't know why this looks so majestic to me right now. I'm like, oh, I'm just sitting here reading, looking out my window, but it honestly is so nice. I was reading in bed, but now I'm reading by the window to switch up my scenery because I'm eating up my book. It is so good. I just feel so rejuvenated from the last two days. I definitely needed this. But like I said, I'm loving my book, so I'm gonna get back to reading. And then I text my brother and I think we're gonna meet at the gym at like eight, it's like six o'clock right now. So I'll probably just see you then. my laundry, FaceTime Charlie, we got to catch up, and then me and Jordan are going to the gym, and it's like 9 o'clock. I really don't want to go, but we keep saying, 30 day gym streak, 30 day gym streak. It's like kind of a joke, kind of a motivation between us, so I was like, 30 day gym streak, we have to go. Tell me why on a Saturday night, I went so hard at the gym. Like, went crazy we did like 10 minute crazy cardio hit to start then we did two back exercises two shoulder exercises or shoulder and a chest and then did abs and i burned like more calories than i normally burn at the gym and we were there for less time like okay that's your sign to go to the gym with people who make you go crazy like my brother sorry i didn't get any footage of it i'm just a girl it happens i was so focused on dying and trying to catch my breath because i forgot my inhaler and all that 
that I forgot to vlog. Anyways, I'm gonna have a little protein shake. It's already pretty late, like I'm literally ready to go to bed, but I hit the gym so late and I just need a little something something. So, protein shake it is. Opening up a new Greek yogurt. Oh gosh, tell me this isn't bad. Okay, we're good. Also opening up a new protein powder. Why is everything so difficult to open tonight? Okay, finally got that open. And I assume my husband's gonna want some, so I'll make it in the big thing. Also, I was told that filming from this angle, anywhere on the side of my kitchen, is the best angle. So this is where you'll be from now on. I forgot how to do this. I haven't made one in so long. Let's do, get a spoon. Yogurt is so gross, honestly. I never eat it unless it's like in a smoothie. So we'll do a spoonful of Greek yogurt, and then we'll do, Ooh, okay, coming already put together a perfect scoop. We'll do two full scoops. Ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! Wow, okay, jeez. It's not showing blood right now, but it is bleeding. Um, I didn't take off all the foil because I couldn't get it off and I literally just sliced my finger open on the foil. Now it's like throbbing. Okay, I just will be more careful. Second scoop. Oh, why does it hurt so bad? It's like a deep paper cut. Already off to a horrible start. Then we are gonna add milk. It says it's fine. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely old. I was confused. So there's an expiration date, but then it says use within 14 days of opening. It's definitely been like a month. Okay, I'm glad I did not use that. <laughs> the best I can do is add a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Also to clarify, this is definitely not a protein shake. This is a full on smoothie. All right, so we're gonna mix this up before we add the rest of our ingredients. The final ingredients, fruit. Okay, wait, this is scary. No chunks, I love that. Two little protein smoothies. All right, I obviously already taste tested it, but let's do like a real official taste test here. Mmm. So good. Tomorrow is obviously Sunday, so I'm gonna kind of prep for that tonight. Shower, pick up my clothes, all that, so I don't take as much time getting ready tomorrow. We are actually going to a new church. I kind of want to make a whole video about our church journey, a little bit of an update from what I said last time I talked about it. We're trying out a new church, so. I low-key want to wear like a cute dress with a long sleeve underneath. Let's see what the weather would be like. Um, okay, tomorrow's gonna be like 60, so that's pretty good. Ooh, actually, I think I know what I wanna wear. I have one dress that I just love. Ooh, wait, I also have this one. That one's so cute. I feel like that's more like Easter. This one dress I have, I love so much. Or do I wanna wear a long dress? No. Where is, oh, here it is. It's hiding with this little cardigan, which is exactly what I want to wear, is this dress. This is my go-to dress. It's so perfect, it's so spring, but you can also make it fall. It's just perfect in every single way. So I can either do the cardigan, which I probably will, or I'll do a white long sleeve underneath. Outfit secured. Ooh, and I could even do these shoes. I don't get to wear them too often. I feel like that could vibe. I'm gonna shower, get all cozy, and then do some reading before bed, and that'll be the end of the video. So this is the last clip of me talking. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me on a nice, cozy, filling up my cup couple of days. I honestly really needed this. Thanks for coming along the journey with me. See you guys in the next one. Love you.